Semnon province is to the east of Tehran, and like Tehran, it's on the southern skirts of the Alborz mountain range, where there are lots of mountains, there are mysterious caves. In one of them, Reza Nayebi found some cheese. Okay, do you see the baby right here? What's really cool is that's the mother right there. Come on, go to your baby. Go to your mother, I mean. Okay, I'm in the province of Semnon. It's raining, and as you see, there's sheep all around me. There's some unique things going on right here in this province with sheep. We're going to take a look at that. Some really traditional cool bread being made, and some really cool Iranian pastry, I guess you'd call it. It's called kuluche. It's Iran program. It's res. It's raining. It's Semnon. It is the shepherd. It's funny how using the simplest ingredients and things can produce the finest of products. There was nothing special about all the ingredients used to make the local bread or pastries, yet the end result was magnificent. Coal is placed into a small, well-like apparatus. Okay, now this is traditional Semnon bread. As you see, they're kneading the dough. And then what they do is they actually put it on like a pillow, and then it's smashed against here in this oven. I'm gonna give it a shot here. Hopefully I won't get cooked or burned. Here we go, the mitt. It's stuck, it's stuck. <laughs> it's my bread, it's cooking. Ooh, ooh, it's hot, it's hot, ooh, it's hot. I gotta eat it. Delicious. شیر تمیز شده رو میارن رو اجاق میجوشونن اینا میذارن خنک شد بعدا به همین صورت که دارن مایه میزنم این مایه رو قشنگ مخلوط میکنن بعد از یک ساعت یک ساعت و نیم تبدیل به پنیر میشه این پنیر رو حالا دارن چیکار میکنن آماده میکنن برای آبگیری تو این صافی به این صافی هم ما به زبان محلی سنتی میگیم پرزو بعد از اینکه این آبگیری انجام بشه آبگیری پنیر این پنیر که خوش میشه ولی این آبی که از پنیر گرفته میشه این آب باز مورد استفاده قرار میگیره یا همون پنیر رو میبریم میخوایم داخل پوست قرار بدیم و به صورت پنیر پوستی استفاده بشه یا نه میخوایم از پنیر بیم چی بگیریم آروشه درست کنیم اوکی okay, as you can see i'm lighting this wood here the reason I'm lighting this wood and the reason that woman is kneading the cheese and you see someone standing by with some substance here. What they do is they light this. Okay, it went out, but anyway, listen to me. They light this, then they put this, and there's a medicine made. This medicine is used for aching of the bones, things of that nature. Esmein chimi shem wakit doroshosh mikoni daru? Oroshe. The name of the medicine is Oroshe. According to local tradition, the villagers believe that using urushe as a natural topical cream is a wonderful way to relieve pain from your joints and bones. The process of making urushe is basically a mixture of herb, cheese, and dairy products. The products are all mixed together and then cooked in a deep dish pot. Okay, like I stated, we're in the province of Semnon. Now we're in the village of Aftar, and it's famous for its cheese. You saw the cheese being made. What's unique is we're gonna go inside this cave, and it's like a natural refrigerator. They store it there. It is bitterly cold, but it is bitterly cool. It's the Iran program. Come with me, guys. We love you guys. Whoa, look at this cave. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa. <laughs> برای اینجا آورده میشه به خاطر دلیل سرمای این غار زیر 0 درجه 6 ماه نگهداری میشه و بهترین حاصل را 
برای مردم ارائه میده تقریبا سه هزار تا الا پنج هزار جلد جا داره اوکی دیس از افتین کیلو هات No, it's not. It's actually 15 kilos of the traditional natural cheese they make here in the village. And what they do is they store it inside this sheepskin and then they put it all over this cave. Like I told you, it's like a natural refrigerator. It's really heavy. From delicious cheese to fantastic traditional Iranian bread to the most amazing pastry, it seems like the village of Aftar in the province of Sevnan had a little bit of everything. What's cool is this rug. Folklore has it that if you lay on it in the winter time, it'll take away all the pain of your body. Well, I hope you enjoyed the latest edition of Iran program as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. And hey, not just Reza Nayebi, all the reporters of Iran program love you guys. Take care of yourselves and can't wait to see you again. I want to eat something.